you're noticing an, an alarming increase in rents across the board that are leaving families really struggling even more than before. How do you feel about these rent increases? What do you think should be done? So what I think as a fellow landlord is that we're all here to make a profit. That's first and foremost. However, of course. we want to be we want to be fair uh, about that. OK, we don't want to be too, too hyper aggressive where people can afford the apartments that we're posting. And that ultimately we have a societal problem of homelessness and poverty that's even worse. So what I'm saying and what I'm seeing is that prices are out of control as far as what landlords want for rents. Okay, for example, when I started at Nexus eight years ago, I rented an apartment on Sisson Street right off of Main Street in Pawtucket for yep. $600 a month. And it took me a while to rent this apartment. The same street right across called us and said, hey, guys, we got a two bedroom. We want you to, to, to rent it. They want $1,750. Right across the street, same size apartment, okay? And people are calling about it. So the bottom line is this. We're going to get the 1750 The owner's going to be happy. But if everybody starts doing that, then what's going to happen is the progressive groups here in Rhode Island, Massachusetts, are going to start to unify and demand rent control. Like Oregon, that's the only state that has a mandated rent control in the entire country, Oregon. And what happens is... Home development gets spurred, home values decrease, and property conditions get worse because nobody is incentivized the same way to be a landlord anymore. Yeah. They're like, I'm not going to deal with that BS. I'm just going to put my money in the stock market because inflation will carry me to the finish line. Or they're so, going to invest in other markets. Correct. They get so, out of that community. Rent control has good intentions. However, it doesn't achieve the proper goal that it's set out to because it loses guys like me and you because we don't want to deal with the regulations. Man, so what are you doing? I mean, you 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 know, you you own and run a lot of your own apartments bu buildings and, and manage them through Nexus and whatnot. Greg, what are you doing to make sure that you you don't kind of take advantage of uh, of let's just say the less fortunate who have to pay these exorbitant amount of rent prices? What are you doing? Well, you know, we have four offices here in New England, and we were on a group chat this morning, all four offices, and I pretty much voiced this opinion. I said, hey, guys, rent prices are going up, but we have to be reasonable. We have to uh, speak softly with this big stick that we're carrying, you know, as, as our boy FDR said, we got, we got to be uh, reasonable and rational is pretty much what I was saying. So we manage a couple thousand units. It's not a lot, but we're going to do our part here at Nexus to ensure that we're not taking advantage of the hyperinflation of the hyperinflation. You know, does it make sense to be jumping in and purchasing multifamilies, commercial property, residential, commercial? Does it make sense to be doing that? You talked about plays and in this market, the plays are different than they were two, three years ago. Two, three years ago, we're buying four families for 200000 Today, they're 400000 yeah. So the prices are double. However, interest rates are lower. So what I suggest is selling a property or two and doing a 1031 exchange to buy three or four properties. So it's not a home run. It's not a triple. It's a single or a double for our baseball people out there. It's getting a runner on base so that you get another swing and you can bat him into the plate. So you're not doing a home run trotting around the bases anymore. You got to have a couple base hits to get those same dollars, those same runs, if you will.